What's going on gamers? Russ Lyman here and welcome back to another Top 3 Tuesday. This week we're going to be talking about power-ups or well weapons you find in the game. There are plenty of things you can get to upgrade your character or make the journey a little less hectic. So we're going to be counting down my top three power-ups or weapons that are overpowered in video games. Coming in at number three is a power-up that's definitely classic in my book. Number three! And that's the Invincibility Star in the Super Mario Bros. series. I had to mention this one because it's pretty iconic for video games and the series in general. It crosses over from the regular games in Super Mario Bros. on the NES, appearing in the first level, and then again in Mario Bros. 2 and 3. It even crosses over to other games like the Mario Kart series. You could find this in Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo and even the latest edition, Super Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U or Switch. Getting the star lets you plow through any enemies on the track, leaving them in the dust. Once someone touches the invincibility star, they are literally untouchable from enemies, objects, and projectiles. The only thing that could kill you is if you fell into a pit. This, I feel, is certainly an iconic power-up that is constantly referenced. I know once you grab it, you want to immediately go wild because nothing can harm you. If that's not defined as overpowered, I don't know what is. While switching gears from the Mario series, I'm going to be visiting another game on the NES, and that's my number two pick. Number two! And that's the Metal Blade from Metal Man in Mega Man 2. You obtain this weapon once beating Metal Man, and then the fun begins. The reason this weapon is so deadly and overpowered is because it can cut through enemies quick, it doesn't drain the power meter too fast, and you can shoot it in multiple directions. This makes using Mega Man's blaster a second choice since it can only fire forward. The blade can be shot when climbing ladders, going under enemies, or even getting them on a diagonal so you don't have to deal with them anymore. The only thing that this can't harm is, well, metal guys. This weapon has helped plenty of speedrunners and people just casually playing the game breeze through. Well, before I get to my number one, I'm going to mention some honorable mentions. I reached out to you guys on Twitter asking you what you thought some overpowered weapons were. Let's hear what you said. The Spread Shot from Contra. One of the best running gun shooters on NES, Contra has plenty of upgradable firepower, and we all know everyone wants to grab the spread shot if you want to make it far in the game. Shooting bullets in all directions, this helps you cover more ground and get those bad guys. Yoshi Super Mario Bros. series. Yoshi can eat just about any enemy he encounters, and some even turn into power-ups. Not only that, you're allowed one hit without sacrifice while riding Yoshi. So if you're Big Mario, you don't shrink down. You can just chase down Yoshi and hop back on him for more action. You can even use him in dire need of making a long distance jump, jumping off Yoshi, leaving him to plummet to his doom. Including those there, here's what you guys had to say on Twitter. Chronic Spartan said the 1-Up Green Mushrooms from Mario. The Game Beater suggested the Game Genie. Of course, that's definitely an overpowered item. Holy Water in Castlevania. Jump and Slash in Ninja Gaiden. Trying to defeat Darth Malak if you only played the main character as a support Jedi. Super Sonic! Screw Attack in Metroid and the Metal Blade in Mega Man 2. Power-ups make me think of Mario's Mushroom every time. Well, those were certainly great responses, but now down to my number one most overpowered weapon. Number one! And that is the BFG 9000 from Doom. A majority of you guys all agree that the number one overpowered weapon is the BFG from Doom series. Premiering back in the original Doom on PC, this gun was outrageous 
It obliterated demons to a pile of goo. Of course it had to carry over to the sequels, and as the graphics got better, so did the gore. It's absurdly large and overpowered, just how it was designed. You made it that far into the game, suffering plenty of deaths, and now it was time for payback. The only downside would be the amount of ammo you have with it. Unless you're running the Game Genie, you'll have to stock up on ammo and use it on the most annoying demons in the game. The BFG 9000 is so iconic, it even made its way into the 2005 Doom movie with The Rock. Just getting this gun is a great achievement in the Doom game, and being able to decimate your enemies is even more awesome. No matter which Doom game it was, in the graphic capabilities, there was definitely a smile on your face while you had this gun. If you end up on Mars or Hell, this is the weapon you want by your side. All hail the BFG 9000! Well guys, that was my quick short list of overpowered weapons or power-ups in video games. Feel free to let me know yours in the comments down below. And if this was a video you liked, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you guys want to see more stuff that I do, be sure to check out my YouTube channel or follow me on social media. And as always gamers, I'm Russ Lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video.